Hey everyone, I'm Travis Guillory in the Shape Your Future Healthy Kitchen with Chef Valerie from OUTU School of Community Medicine. Thanks for coming in for us today. Thank you. So uh, this a little bit uh, breakfast it looks like, it smells like it for sure. <laughs> what are we making today? So breakfast, snack, I mean breakfast for dinner, whatever you want <laughs> to have. Whatever floats your boat. That's right. <laughs> so we're going to make some pumpkin pancakes. So this is basically a very traditional pancake mix, but we've added some pumpkin puree and we've actually taken half of their all-purpose flour that you would normally use and replace that with oat flour. Okay. Okay, so it's oat flour, AP flour, baking soda, baking powder, um, some flax meal because that gives some extra nutrition, some extra fiber, and um, the pumpkin puree. And so you do want to make sure that you get the pumpkin puree and not the pumpkin pie puree because that has sugar added to it. Okay. Okay. A little cinnamon, a little nutmeg, little cloves. Um, and then that's just going to go, that gets whisked together. It's a, quite a thick batter and it's going to go right into a preheated pan. It does have a little bit of canola oil in the batter too. Um, we are using a nonstick pan. Make sure if you're using a nonstick pan that it doesn't have any scratches or nicks because that can be an endocrine or hormonal disruptor if you start eating that nonstick coating. Okay. Gotcha. So if you're going to be using a regular pan, you could use just a tiny bit of oil. Gotcha. Okay, and so these are going to cook for probably three to four minutes on each side um, until you really want the bubbles that start forming on the surface, on the top surface, to start breaking. And that's when you know that your pancake is done and it's time to flip them. Gotcha. So okay. what's, the, what's the, the health benefit of the pumpkin and of using oat? Why, why are you using those? So the oat flour is going to have a lot more fiber than um, just AP flour. And so I actually made my own oat flour. And that sounds like I did something fancy, but all I did <laughs> was put that in a blender and just kind of ground that up a little bit. And so okay. I have a high-speed blender, and it turned into really fine flour. If you just have like an average blender, then your flour is going to be a little bit coarser, and that's okay. But it's high in fiber, and then oats are also known to help reduce cholesterol. Awesome. Okay, awesome. and then the pumpkin is very high in vitamin A and also adds fiber. So just your typical pancake that you might get at whatever pancake house is not going to have any fiber, but this is going to have a good amount of fiber yeah. compared to that. And then another thing that we like to do is actually instead of using syrup, which you know syrup waffles, you might be it's not used, the healthiest thing. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of sugar, and you might be used to adding a half a cup or so. So that's going to be yeah. a quarter to half a cup. People I'm, are eating. I am guilty of that. Okay, I've done it too, but I'm, I'm going for the applesauce. On these. Yes, yeah, a much, yeah. much healthier alternative. Yeah, so, you know, and if you're trying to talk your kids into this, maybe a couple of teaspoons of syrup and then a good dollop of the applesauce. And so a good thing to also get is the um, cinnamon applesauce. Get the one that's unsweetened with cinnamon. Okay, so when these are nice and brown on one side, we're going to go ahead and flip them and then they'll be ready to go. Awesome. So a, a much healthier and very fiber filled alternative uh, to your kind of traditional pancakes with a little bit of pumpkin. So a little something different. All right. All these recipes are available over on our website, KJRH.com. Everything we make here in the Shape Your Future Healthy Kitchen is on there. So if you missed any of the previous weeks, head over to our website to get all these amazing and healthy recipes.